Bats may give some people the willies, but they're very important to our ecosystem. They pollinate flowers, disperse seeds, and even keep the world from being a much buggier place as they are the primary predator of nighttime insects. So if you've been outside and been bitten by mosquitoes, a lot of gnats around you, having a bat in your neighborhood would actually prevent them from uh, kind of being overpopulated and they help control the number in the wild. And bats need our help. Their populations are declining all over the world. And some studies show one reason for that is they don't have safe, secure areas to roost. That's why we'll show you how to build a bat box, a human-made shelter for them to call home. Their construction is really simple, and pre-made kits can be found in stores, so you won't have to measure or saw pieces. If you choose to build one out of your own wood, though, make sure that the final product will be at least 14 inches wide and 2 feet tall. A box this size should be able to house a full 50 bat colony. There are six basic pieces, a large back, two narrow side slats, two front pieces, and a roof. The inside of each piece should be painted black. This will help keep heat in and provide a dark place for your bats to sleep. You'll notice here that the inside of the back piece has ruts. When finished, this will give your bats something to grip and hang from when they live there. If you're building your own bat box, you can make simple scratches. They don't need to be exact. After putting on protective gear, lay down your back piece with ruts facing up. You will line up the top of the side slats with the top of the back on each side. You can see here how they fit together like a puzzle piece. Now carefully flip the bat box over and screw in four screws on each side to secure the three pieces together. Flip the box back over so the ruts once again face up. Take the larger of the two front pieces and lay it down so it fits into the grooves of the side slats and its top is even with the top of the back piece. Screw in three screws on each side to secure the top front piece in place. Now place the lower front piece so the bottom side is even with the bottom of the side slats. You'll want to take a ruler and make sure you have a minimum of a half an inch gap between the upper and lower front pieces. This is to provide ventilation for your bats. Screw in two screws on each side of the bottom front piece. Finally, take the roof piece and align it evenly, as you might have guessed, along the top of the bat box. Now screw in another screw on either side, attaching the roof to the side slats, and you're now finished. You'll also want to paint the outside of the bat box for more weather protection. Make sure to hang the box at least 12 feet off the ground to keep your bats safe from predators. And be patient. Bats may not move in right away, as it can take them a couple years to find and get comfortable with it. Hopefully they'll start coming after a few years, and then we'll get to watch them.